I think what inspired me was just the, the dedication Mike gave to his clients. There was obviously a personal sacrifice that was there for him to travel and spend so much time face to face with these clients. I think the real impact we did feel as a practice was Mike was in multiple places essentially at once from our clients' perspectives, was helping PwC Australia, PwC US and PwC Canada all at once and indeed really allowed our client base to know that we're in the capital markets technology space and we had a global specialist who could actually help them with their needs. Mike uh, is a fantastic guy. I don't really know what to say about him other than he brought an absolute um, abundance of energy and great global insight to the, uh, the group more broadly, um, the client, the team. Um, he was continually on calls at three in the morning, which was fantastic. He never moaned once about that. As the leader of the technology group for the organization, I was looking at figuring out what our future state ought to look like years in advance. And one of the individuals had mentioned that I should reach out to this individual, Michael Cervello, from PwC out of Toronto. So I did that, brought him out, uh, started a discussion, and quickly found him to be less salesy, more delivery oriented, which was a very good focus for me as a customer. Uh, over a three month period, he found himself traveling between Edmonton uh, for Aimco, Charlotte for Wells Fargo, and uh, Melbourne for ANZ. Uh, I don't know how he did it. He, he persevered through it, obviously putting clients first. Uh, his wife must have been very understanding as indeed his son Hudson, his first child was born uh, in uh, earlier this year as well. So he, he found time to look after the, the household needs at the same time as looking after his clients. Oh, there's this little thing called FaceTime um, that, you know, since he started traveling with the company, we've used FaceTime. Um, but, you know, we stay in contact all day. We're one of those couples that speak multiple times a day. He's a little bit more busy lately, so you know when he can, he shoots me an email, and when he comes home, he dedicates all of his time to me and his son Hudson. At the end of the day, you know he puts in more time than I've ever known anyone to ever put into a job, um, and I'm not just saying that and being biased. He works extremely hard. I'm very proud of him, um, but when he comes home, he does understand. You know he wants to be with his family, and it's number one for him. So from Mike's perspective, he thinks about what the client actually needs. So he talks to them up front, he gains their trust, he's spending a lot of time on site with them. And then when he needs to spend some time away from an individual client, they understand he has other clients to service to. And he still hops on the calls, no matter what hour of the night those are, to make sure they've got uh, continuous contact with them throughout the process. Uh, he's been able to not just help the stakeholders and help me deliver, but also spends a lot of the extra time helping me understand what it is we're doing here. Um, and with the different types of fine tuning we have to do on our platforms, to be able to deliver in a better alignment for AIMCO, uh, someone like him is invaluable. I think honesty is one of the key parts of Michael. Um, he's able to go through the issues with clients. Um, he doesn't shy away from anything. Um, he's not afraid of them, <laughs> but as much as he does have a ton of respect for them. But he basically, the point is, is that he's looking for success for not only himself, for the company, but for his clients. I think a couple of words that would best describe Michael would be committed and driven. Our clients have especially seen his uh, degree of commitment to their projects and indeed his travel schedule uh, greatly reflects that and he's driven. He wants to do the right thing for the firm, he wants to do the right thing for the clients, and that's why clients really like having him as part of their teams. Yeah, Michael, I would like to congratulate you for all your work. Sounds like you're um, being given a, an appropriate award, so congratulations on winning the CEO award. Thanks a lot personally for me and the team. We've, uh, we've had a great time working with you and you've been a great uh, representative of the PwC Canada organization. We hope to see you soon. Thanks. Mike, I want to say congratulations. I think there's no question you deserve this award. You've worked extremely hard over the past year at a fairly significant personal sacrifice. So I'd like to thank you, your wife, and your new son uh, for all the commitment you've given to PwC to date and look forward to working with you in many years in the future. Congratulations, Daddy and Michael, on winning the CEO award. We're so proud of you, love you so much. Can't wait to see you. <laughs>